Good Sunday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 alive and in color from Capitan, New Mexico on a cool morning. Hey Google, what's the temperature? The current temperature in Capitan is 38 degrees. 38 with a high of 66, not too bad and, and that's right actually. It, it is exactly the same as the indoor outdoor temp gauge for the first time in many days. Hey Google, what's the temperature at Fort Clark Springs, Texas? Right now in Capitan, it's hey, 38 Google, degrees. What's the temperature at Fort Clark Springs, Texas? Right now in Fort Clark Springs, it's 72 degrees. With a high of 90, that's my other home base. And uh, why am I here? Because it's a little warm there right now. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to Rocky the Rock from Carlsbad, New Mexico. He came by yesterday at Beer 30 for a little visit and brought some gifts. Thank you very much, Rocky. And he also has a YouTube channel, but I don't know the name of it. So, Rocky, if you hear, if you watch this video this morning, leave a comment with the name of your YouTube channel and you guys check it out because he lives over in Carlsbad. But anyway, thank you again, Rocky. Also, yesterday I got the sensor replaced in the uh, or fixed in the uh, Hyundai 2012 that I have with 111,000 miles on it that I bought when I came out here and I'll sell when I leave so the it check engine light is no longer on so that problem is solved and also just a quick tip if you want to see how the rest of the world lives uh, check out some of the webcams around the world. One of the ones I watch every now and then is at Venice Beach, California. And uh, the, you get to see the whole world pass in review there. I mean, there's, it's, the whole, it's the melting pot, man. But be that as it may, never worry about what you cannot change. And tomorrow I have a, well, let's see, I have a iPhone 13 Pro supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I'll just use it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep my Pixel 3a XL for my quote daily driver, I guess you'd say, my uh, regular phone. And the, the Apple, I'm just planning on using it for videos and maybe a few other things, but we'll see. But anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. What kinds of cars do elves drive? Toyotas. <sighs> That was quick. Oh. Yeah, the only thing about the Google Home device, this thing I've got with a screen on it, is uh, it, it's gotten too smart. You know what I mean? And it, it, sometimes it'll just answer questions you haven't even asked yet or hadn't even thought of. You know? But anyway, HWM Liberty on Apple Man says, LOL, funny story about the kids. My dad had one of his on his peewee team. I'll never forget because it was so funny, named Curtis. He was so bored in left field, he just sat down out there in the grass. That is a pretty place, a beautiful drive. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, my, uh, yeah, my youngest boy did the same. He didn't sit down. He, he was certainly comfortable. I mean, <laughs> he was enjoying the game that he was supposed to be in. Anyway, on the Apple stuff and a drive, Julia Russell, your videos are, are best the way you do them, and editing isn't needed, in my opinion. I don't edit anything, Julia. Thank you. I don't plan to either. You know, I'm not getting the Apple stuff to edit videos. I'm just getting it to mainly just as an adventure, just to have something to do and something new to learn. Ralph P. says, thanks for the ride-along, Rusty. Those people holding the signs could be professional panhandlers. We have no shortage of them in Florida. So many help wanted signs everywhere. The old stinking goat says they don't want employment. No, they really don't. That's for sure. Or they'd go get it. And this is the screaming goat giving you a one-eared goat kiss this morning. Sunday morning. Boondocking with Dennis. You always find the most interesting people. That was on the walking club. Thank you, Dennis. Check his channel out. He's living in a pickup truck with a camper top along the Gulf Coast of Texas. Boondocking with the same person says... Uh, Good morning, sir. I do prefer Apple products, but that's all I have used for the last 14 years. Best of luck with yours. And he also says thanks 
for the drive that is one good looking area yeah it is it's there's some beautiful drives here and you know if i went traveling anywhere i don't know what i'm going to do hell I, i'm just going to take it one day at a time you know practice what you preach rusty <clears throat> d anderson i have two older cars with a combined 280,000 miles i'm hoping to put a combined 400,000 on them looks like i might not have any choice but to do so yeah, it really does. I mean, something. the car market is really screwed, man. I mean, used car prices are way up here. New car prices are up, and there's not any available, so it's really weird. Uh, David Mosick, Rusty, a good name for your Santa Fe. How about calling it Taco, LOL? I guess I could. <laughs> yeah, Taco Man. <clears throat> Thank you for your input, David. Robert Spicer, I guess. At 1209, looking at the mountain, you see the Sleeping Lady. Yeah, well, there's a mountain near at the Four Corners area. Uh, you look off in the distance and you see Sleeping Ute Mountain. So everybody, all the mountains are sleeping. Robert Spicer again. Germans drink beer in the morning. It's called Liquid Toast. When you get tired of the desert, take a ride up into the mountains and enjoy the forest. That's about what I do. I do me. Uh, Bricks of Co., great video, Rusty, and I think you meant right field. I could have meant right field, yeah. How do I know this? I played right field. Usually left-handed hitters hit it to right field, not many of them. No, that's true. Uh, Sh Shars Bars, Rusty, you are a cool dude, man. Well, it is definitely cool this morning. It's exactly 60 degrees in here. I've got two little electric heaters on low. And it keeps it quite comfortable, actually. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, the steaming bean, I'm a creature of habit. Habit. I had a MacBook Air laptop several years ago. I now use a Samsung and am wondering, again, if I should use an iPhone next time. It will be interesting to hear your thoughts on your new iPhone down the road. You'll be my guinea pig. Okay, guinea. I'm old guinea pig. I wonder why they call them guineas. You know, guineas are chicken-looking things, you know. But they call them guinea pigs. Is that... Hey, Google, show me a picture of a guinea pig. Here are some pictures that match. Yeah, it looks like a little rat or a big fat rat. So thank you. That's one of the things this thing can do. It's really helpful in some ways. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Robert Williams, Struther Martin, Cool Hand Luke. I always liked the scene eating the hard-boiled eggs. Yeah, that was, I don't know, what did he eat, a hundred? A lot of them, man. Lucky he didn't die. <clears throat> anyway, Steve Combs, Earl and Bubba are quietly sitting in a fishing boat, chewing tobacco and drinking beer when suddenly Bubba says, think I'm going to divorce the wife. She ain't spoke to me in over two months. Earl spits overboard, takes a long, slow sip of beer and says, better think it over. Women like that are hard to find. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Miss Mabel, what we have here, what we have here is a failure to communicate. The name, movie name is Cool Hand Loop. Yep, that was it. <clears throat> I may watch that today. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah it's pretty interesting the way it started off. He was cutting a, he had a, 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 a cutter, you know, and he was cutting the heads off park, parking meters, cutting them off. <laughs> yeah, he got thrown in jail. That was Paul Newman. Rocky the Rock, man, oh man, I really enjoyed coming and seeing you. You're just right. A right down, a downright nice person, a good sense of humor. I think we were made to be friends. Oh, yeah. How do you, how do you look like you look like you're getting younger? Thanks for the drive through the mountains. The commercial on Butterfinger is let go of my Butterfinger. <clears throat> yeah, thank you for bringing the stuff, but I still need to know the name of your uh, uh, channel on YouTube. Old Vine Zen. Hi, Rusty. You had me you had me when you mentioned Butterfingers, my favorite candy bar since the 1960s. I haven't had one in probably 30 years, but I have a feeling that will end soon. Not sure if I should thank you or hate you. Have a great day and keep smiling. <clears throat> yeah, I get a sweet tooth every now and then, and, the, and my, my, my favorite one is Snickers, just the regular old Snickers. And uh, anyway, King for this is King for a Day says, Failure to communicate would be Struther Martin. His characters were usually a little, a bit loony between the ears, yeah. This is on the new Trail Manor pop-up tra uh, travel trailer. 
uh, Happy Hand says, do you think a Dodge Dakota could pull this? I don't know, Happy Hands. You got to do your own research on that. You have to figure that out. Dear Trixa, as always, great drive. I thank you, sir. You're very welcome, Dear Trixa, from the North Sea in Germany. Uh, King for a day says, if you want a, if you want an awesome headlamp, get a Phoenix. They will light up your night. I don't know what I got. Mine, mine, no, mine's a, th a through night. Yeah, it's. It's got different levels of light setting, and the high one, it, it'll blind you, man. But the good thing about this headlamp I got is the, the little uh, rechargeable battery flashlight goes, you know, it's up here, and you point it forward, you know what I mean? But it comes out, and you can use it as a regular flashlight if you choose to. Pretty neat. And it's rechargeable. Susan Kim 51, I like those Butterfingers too, and a cold Coke to go with it. Thanks for the Ruidoso drive. Mr. Good Bars are good too if you reach for one of those sometime. Yeah, I remember them. I remember all of them. I've probably eaten it many years ago. Uh, Shelly Walker, I like your unedited videos, especially the drives. Thank you for continuing to share your drives. Yeah, and you know, editing is hard work, and I'm not, yeah, I never was sure if anybody really noticed it. You know, I, I, I never did edit them, but I noticed people that, you know, that I hear other ch channel creators saying they spend all their time editing. What? <clears throat> Anyway, AI Marvin, uh, this is on Apple Man, 25% or more. I don't know what that means. The minimum food stamps in Texas for one person is $214 a month this year and $194 last month. Do you starve? I do not. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I don't get them. I'm E88. Awesome view and drive, Rusty. I remember having my first iPhone, Generation 4. Never had any other phone except iPhone, but. I'm still learning things about my 12 generation. Happy for your new toy, Rusty. Thank you, IME88. Yeah, I'm looking forward to get it. And I'll get it tomorrow. It'll give me something to do for several days. And then later on, I've got an iPad, the, the base model, I guess you'd say, ninth gen generation ordered. And it should be here in May sometime. But actually, May is only uh, eight day, seven days away. <clears throat> Gene Walker, I am watching on an iPad. Have an iPhone. Also love both of them. I'm 78. They are easy. Well, good for you. Thank you, Gene. That's what I want to hear. You know, and, and I did go to Walmart, as you know, yesterday, and, and I checked out the iPad. Yeah, it's, it's really neat, man. I mean, I, I like it. It's certainly, I don't know that I'll need an external key, keyboard. I did get the little cover that folds so you can set it up like a laptop, you know, in, in bed or sitting or, you know, what you know what I mean. Anyway, John Bruce, I use a headlamp all the time nowadays. Cool Hand Luke was the movie you were thinking of. Yeah, those headlamp things, the good thing about them is every now and then you need a flashlight, but you also need to be able to use both hands to hold tools and stuff, particularly if it's a blown fuse on this Class C motorhome, uh, the, the one in, under the hood and stuff. Yeah, make it nice. Anyway, uh, David Gibson says, Mr. Rusty in Louisville, Kentucky at the Walmart Seedless Watermelon 998 and some things you can't get with empty shelves. What next? I actually heard they're contemplating an electric tank for the Army. That's good. I mean, you know, things change. I, I, what I wish is we'd get away from uh, wars totally. I think they're a little senseless nowadays. You know, we're so interconnected uh, that, uh, you know, it, it, if you put sanctions like on Russia, we end up having to pay more for oil and natural gas and all this other stuff. So we really shoot ourselves in the foot by these sanctions, and and it's worldwide. You know, you can't really, you know, you cut somebody off and they cut you off, and you got a problem. Anyway, so RB living with the geezer. Check that channel out, and he's out in West Texas, uh, around the Fort uh, Davis area. Such a beautiful drive between Ruidoso and Capitan brings back great memories. Yeah, it's a beautiful drive. There's some really nice drives around here. I plan to do more of them, and uh, because. Uh, you know, you know, driving the Class C is fine. I, I don't mind it at all. It's just at 10 miles a gallon, four dollar, 10 miles to the gallon, four dollars per gallon. It gets a little expensive, but and I get about 30 in the Hyundai Santa Fe, Nini, 8369. I will get this. Oh, this is on the tiny home, Home Depot. I will get this because I'm in Florida, and I'm paying, and I'm not paying, 15,000. 
1500 for three bedroom rent. Our governor is only focused on his own agenda and have totally ne neglected us. Well, you don't have to stay there. Peter Davis, Perry Davis, love all my Apple devices. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the ratings on Apple devices on all of them is really high. They do a good job, apparently. Uh, this is Freak Project, incredible on the Home Depot home. And this is Stephen Cook on the driving Apple thing. I have Butterfinger minis every day. Well, <laughs> good for you, Stephen Cook. <clears throat> every day, huh? Mr. CJ Cab 64, thumbs up to you. Carol McKibben on the Apple stuff. I really enjoy the content of your videos. They are what they are. No need to edit them because we, we, your viewers, enjoy the wandering conversation. No need to fix what isn't broke. Well, thank you, Carol, because I don't plan on fixing it. No. What you see is what you get. Prepping for our, prepping and RV life. Follow your dreams. How's the rain there? The weather looks beautiful. Hell, we haven't had any rain. Uh, I don't think we, we might have had a few drops since I've been here. <clears throat> I've been here over a month now. Believe it or don't, Car, uh, Cal Bob 750, or this, this season I've been here over a month. Uh, Cal Bob 750, bleach at Dollar Tree is $1.25. Probably should have gone to Dollar Tree. It's a lot more than that at Walmart. Roy Tiger, have you ever had a high colonic colon cleansing? It's refreshing. No, I've never done that one, Roy. Uh-uh. Jim Knowles or Newells, way too much mileage for that price. Oh, that was on the Class C motorhome that was for sale over in Rodoso. With those miles, price should be 10000 at best. Well, whatever it is, it's still there. Uh, Bill Birdsong, Cool Hand Luke. Yeah, it was a good movie. He also says, ever eat a Long John Coconut Bar when you were little? I don't remember that name. No, I don't. I don't even know if we had those. <clears throat> Deborah Abercrombie on the Apple stuff. It's kind of funny. We were all making more money than ever. I'm retired, but making more money than I ever did with an eight to five. Yeah, well, you know, I can live comfortably, very comfortably, actually, on my Social Security. So anything else I make is just money to have fun with. <clears throat> and I do. Michael Tankersley uh, on uh, Alamogordo he says the population is 30,000, not a quarter of a million. Okay, so that's 30 and not 60. So I was only off 30,000. Big deal. Uh, Roy Frazier. Rusty, I enjoyed my Wendy's Dave's One and Medium Fries and Frosty. Well, I'm glad you did, Roy, and I'm glad you told us because we were wondering if you enjoyed it. Michael Tankersley. I lived in Alamogordo in the 1980s. It's really a great town. Sad to see the mall empty now. Yeah, it said mall is, is definitely empty. Jenny Lupercio. Cool hand loop. You got it, babe. Van Roo. It's beautiful there. It is beautiful in Rodoso. Monty Forster. Yes. Out of. Oops. Yep. Sound like I made. Did I do something? Uh, anyway, the same person, Monty Forster, says, I think you're filming and lack of editing or doing, doing you fine. If it's not effed, why change it? I get more outside your videos than a lot of these highly overproduced shows. Yeah, you know, I, you know you, you've seen them. You know, it shows the, the creator walking away from the camera or up on a hill or they've got a, uh, what do you call those things that fly up in the air, drones, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's following them along. And, and, you know, they do get some good shots, but, you know, they're not making movies, you know. They're just making, you know, they're, again, I, again, I think they should just do videos, you know, just... Uh, yeah, as far as editing, uh, don't get carried away. And then they always put in music. And sometimes I have to turn the sound off, even though I enjoy some of the content. Their music doesn't please me at all. So, you know, for those of you creators out there that happen to be watching this video, remember that you can lose half your audience by your choice of music because half the audience is not going to like what, you're, what you like. That's just a standard rule, you know. Uh, anyway, Cecilia Barker, thank you for the relaxing ride along. We'll do about three more and then shut her down here. Uh, Uncle Billy, that town is so cool. We camp at the state park right up the road, spend the weekend and get our prescriptions. We save a ton of money. That town is set up for exactly what we do, spend money. That's why we they are so friendly. Good, thank you, Uncle Billy. Jason's Texas Adventures, great scenic drive, like the name Santa Slay for your... Santa Fe, 
doing things your way and you made me want a Butterfinger today. So I say, Rusty Goat and Rangers, enjoy your day. With that in mind, I'll give you a goat kiss. And uh, last one, Slinger, WI, Wisconsin, USA. I still, I'm still using the iPod 12.9 inch I bought in 2015. Works great. Still getting iOS updates on it seven years later. Yeah, that's another thing that Apple does that Android does not. Android's usually two years and iOS sometimes up to 10. So anyway, having said that, from Capitan, New Mexico on a cool morning, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Uh, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose, and then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout. Kidney stones also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water, and you won't want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is eat less. That's it. Just eat less. That's it. You know, get a smaller plate. That'll help. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, common sense says, add good ingredients, problem solved. Don't watch the news. You know, be selective. You know, when I say don't watch the news, you know, don't miss something that you need to know. You know, but, you know, avoid the negativity of the news because it is mostly negative. That's it. Anyway, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be yesterday when Rocky the Rock came by at beer 30. At ease, carry on, bye bye. Enjoy your Sunday.